Previously on Unturning. You know you were meant to be mine. Clem! Twilight on the Heath. Eustacia is out walking when she comes across Clem talking with Damon Wild Eve. Eustacia, er, Miss, what? My, my condolences on the death of your mother-in-law. She? It seems she was out walking and collapsed. Oh. Just now? I happened to find her on the road this afternoon. So sudden. Heat stroke, it seems. It was a very hot day, and she was far from home. Thank you for telling us. Well, certainly. My condolences. Damon Wild Eve nods to Eustacia and exits, leaving the couple alone. Clem, I'm so sorry. You should be. What? My mother came to our house. How do you know? She left a letter at the door. She came to be reconciled with us. Today? Yes. I was there when I woke up from my nap. She must have been on her way home when she died. Oh, Clem, I'm so sorry. Didn't you see her? No. Didn't she knock at the door? I... I don't know. Did you hear her knock? Uh, of course not. You know how soundly I sleep. But you, you were awake. You should have heard her. Maybe she didn't knock. Why wouldn't she? You must have heard her or, or seen her. How could you not have seen her? Why didn't you answer the door? I wasn't there. I was out back in the garden. <laughs> Why weren't you there? Were you with someone else? How dare you? You sent my mother away to die. I didn't think. How could I have known? Everything she said about you was true. And now you've killed her. Clem. How could there be good in a woman everyone spoke ill of? Then I'll leave you. Forever. She turns to leave, but he seizes her by the wrist. The distorted mirror image of their first meeting. They stare at each other in a helpless anguish until he releases her in despair. Eustacia flees. Late August. It is a cool night. The first breath of fall is in the air. Eustacia, as in the beginning, is back at her grandfather's house with her bonfire blazing. Damon Wild Eve enters. Don't come any closer. I didn't light it. Why are you back here, at your grandfather's house? I didn't let his mother in, and she died. It isn't your fault. You don't deserve this, Eustacia. Don't. I didn't send for you. Don't forget that. I failed in everything else, but as a wife, I've been true. What kind of man dares to cast you out? He's hardly the first. Forgive me. For everything I've done to you, I, I see more and more I've been your ruin. Not you. This place I live in. There's nothing for me. And no one. I should have done more. Or nothing at all. There must be something I can do to save you from this. Let me help you. You can't. I'm caught. Every step I've taken was the wrong one. Sometimes I think I should never have been born. Eustacia! It's true. The spindle of my life has turned too far. I'm so much past the thread allotted to me, it's not even enough to cut it. Instead, my whole life must be unraveled as though I never existed at all. No. There's never been a place for me in this world. I'm too much of too many things, and never enough of one. No one can see me. You look directly into my eyes, and see another person entirely. And somehow she's the one who's really here. As she speaks, the dancer emerges from the shadows and stands in her place, as though she was the one conversing with Damon. Eustacia steps away. Damon hears her, but he faces the dancer. Run away with me. Don't. My heart could only break so much before it kills me. Ask me anything. I'll move heaven and earth for you. It wouldn't help. It's my star that's falling. 
We can leave this place. I've come into some money, finally. We can run away. We can go to Paris. You're married. It doesn't matter now. Life means nothing anymore. We both know how this has to end. Do we? Meet me at midnight, at our secret place by the river. I'll be there. He runs off. Eustatia's hands a letter to the dancer, who delivers it. A lone light in the far corner of the stage sees Clem reading it. Wrapped in the letter is Thomason's lost hair ribbon that had served as Eustatia's engagement ring. Her only words are, I have outlived my faith and purpose. He rushes off stage. The light returns to Eustatia, now in her black traveling cloak, as she falls to her knees and sings. storm is brewing. Lightning flashes above the river as the threads of fate descend from the night sky. Damon in traveling clothes arrives to meet Eustacia. Lightning flashes again as they look at each other from across the stage. He starts towards her. She's about to take a step towards him when the dancer descends from the threads of fate. She seizes Eustacia and forces her into the river. Meanwhile, Clem arrives with Diggory Venn, steps behind him. Diggory holds Clem back, but Damon, seeing them, leaps into the river after Eustacia and drowns. Diggory pulls Clem off stage. Eustacia is still struggling with the dancer in the river. As she reaches for air, her hand grasps the silken thread hanging above her. Suddenly, she rises, tying herself in the strand of fate as a lifeline. The dancer lunges for her, but Eustacia takes the dancer by the throat and drowns her in the river. Eustacia climbs the thread of fate and vanishes into the night sky.